All right, Ricardo versus Shinoda, a, 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 a battle I was not expecting, but I think, I don't know whether it's just that idea that Ricardo is the, the second, the third Red Bull driver in waiting that has pissed off Shinoda, but he just seems out of sorts. He Erratic? doesn't seem right in the head. Hmm. Tell me more. Why do you well, think this is? Like, what's the go with him cutting, him cutting off Ricardo yeah. during, like it was during practice or something, or, or was it mm. after the race? It was some, but there was no reason to do anything, and he almost hit him a yep. couple of times, and Ricardo was like, I don't even have to say anything. You guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> like that. That's exactly how it went down. Yeah, yeah. My Ricardo is pretty good. It's getting better. But, I mean, out of, from out of nowhere, it feels like Sunoda is stirring that. And yeah. I think the we problem, he, so yeah. note has been improving and Daniel, yeah. I think there's still a question mark over Daniel. Is he picking that fight on purpose? Hmm. Yeah. Would Sonoda, as, oh, you think Ricardo might be picking the fight? I think Sonoda is picking the fight because yeah. I feel like he, I think people are not even talking about him as a Red Bull contender. And I think he wants the fight because then yeah. people will start comparing him and Ricardo instead of Perez and Ricardo. Yeah, there's lots. I mean, there's, there was a bit of media in the season break where it's like, oh, yeah, we're keeping Sonoda, yada, 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 because we have to. We have to. <laughs> we have to. And you're like, well, that doesn't fill the poor guy with with confidence, does it? It's like, you're here mm. because your your company said you had to be here, so fine. You know, it's like, you have to take your little brother to the party. Oh, it's very much like to? that. Take... Uh, fine. You can go, but take your you're... brother. It's yeah. very much like that. Yeah. Um... So, yeah, Yuki Tsunoda, he's like, oh, I'm a own driver in my own mind. I felt like the last couple of seasons, he had kind of rounded that. He's like, I take this really seriously. I'm a Formula 1 driver, fully accepted. Yeah. But I feel like the it's probably a couple of things. Because I don't think that that team, sorry, VCARB, VCARB, Cash App, um, oh, whatever. I, yeah, whatever. I'm going to pick about that as well. Keep going. Here we go. I'll bring it up. <laughs> Finally, some energy. <laughs> um, <laughs> but they, they just kind of obscure. I don't know. They're kind of falling into obscurity. That like they aren't. They're not good enough. And there's n neither of them are pushing into that Red Bull team. It's always the story. It's like, oh, look at these young drivers. They're they're feisty and they push. And like, so I feel like the the what makes Red Bull Red Bull is draining out of that team. They're like, well, they are feisty, like upstarts who are changing the Formula One world. It's like, no, now Formula One has been molded almost in their identity. Yes, and or it's become a more complex product. So there is nothing supremely challenging about any of their drivers anymore. Perez is like the most conservative guy on the grid. Sonoda, maybe he's maybe he's the only one who's like, oh, cut off my teammate and try to start a fight. Maybe that is a bit of like positive Red Bull energy, but they probably don't like it. Well, what I do you hate like... about VCarb? Tell me more. Oh, well, let, let's get into it now then. Let yeah. Me, um, let me pull this up. Like, let me ask you a couple of questions to start with. That Sauber mm. team name, we call them Sauber. Oh, yeah, we don't know what the team now? name is. Strike. What's that team name again? Can you remind me? It's Strike While the Sauber's <laughs> Hot uh, in green. Did you say um, kick, kick Sauber Ferrari? Sauber Ferrari. Fuck because that's me. what they listed on Wikipedia as. No. And oh. do you know that you know that Team Visa Cash App RB? Oh, do you mean mm. RB Honda? Rubik. Like, what the hell is going on here? It's a real permit name there, Rubik. Oh, you, you know the team Alpine? Oh, do you mean Alpine Renault? Like, mm. huh? That's not the team names. It yeah. does make Ferrari and Mercedes just look all the better. Is like, I mean, that's sort the of been a running joke. No, because they are the sponsor. Kick. But it's like, are they Stake F1 team or are they Kick Sauber Ferrari? What the hell? Why don't Kelly call them Strike? Yeah, pick a lane. Yeah, exactly. Give back that racing line. That's no, it. it's no good. Um, at least I do like the green, though. Really, I was unsure, but I'm here for it. I like them, that you can spot them, especially in these night okay. races. They look really green. I'm here for the green. They look really green. Yeah, I like Just that. So green. Yeah. <laughs> like, which team is the green one? Ah, uh, that's the green one. The Strike Steak Delicious. What What were they called again? <laughs> steak <laughs> F1 Team Kicks Alba. Kicks Alba. That's right. Well, at least soon there would just be Audi. We'll just be Audi. There's yeah. nothing complicated about that. Okay. I like that people are calling it um, Sauber. That's that's it's fabulous that that's caught on. Like I thought it would. Racing Bull. I've I've seen people call it Racing Bulls. And I'm like, but it's not called Racing Bulls. But it mm -hmm. sort of is. It's, it's a mess. Yeah, this team a situation mess. name. It's a huge mess. 